Now, in order for us to solve this question, we have to remember a couple of rules. First, I'm going to try to convert this into a number that we can work with. Because 4 to the something power, we know that 4 is equal to 2 times 2, which is equal to 2 to the second power. So I'm going to have to rewrite this as 2 to the second power to the square root of 2x minus 1. Now, how can I convert square root of 2 into 2 to the something power? So we have to remember that this there technically is a 1 over here, and there's an imaginary 2. And we have to remember this exponential rule, where x to the a over b is simply just equal to x to the a root b. So rewriting 2 square root of 2 to the first, this is technically equal to x, which is our 2, to the a, which is 1, over our b value, which is 2. So technically, the square root of 2 is equal to 2 to the 1 half power. Now, distributing this, we just have to remember this rule, x to the a to the b is equal to x to the a times b. So a lot of rules we have to remember. Basically, we have to distribute this right here. So that gives me 2 to the 2 times 2x minus 1, and that's equal to 2 to the 1 half. Now, because both my numbers are both raised to the second power, I could technically set their exponents equal to each other. So in this case, I'm end up with 2 to the square root of 2x minus 1 is equal to 1 half. And this is a fairly easy equation to solve. So what I could do in this case is I could divide both sides by 2. And when I divide something by 2, that's the same as just multiplying it by 1 half. So 2 over 2 cancels out on this side, leaving me with the square root of 2x minus 1 is equal to 1 half times 1 half, which is just equal to 1, 1 times 1, and 2 times 2, which is 4. Now I get the square root of 2x minus 1 is equal to 1 over 4. So in order to get this by itself, I have to do the opposite of that, which means I have to square both sides. Square root and square cancel out, leaving me with only what's inside. So I'm just left with 2x minus 1, and that's equal to 1 fourth squared, which is the same as 1 fourth times 1 fourth, which is just 1 over 16. And then what I could do from here is solve this equation by adding 1 onto both sides. Adding 1 is the same as adding 16 over 16. Give me 2x is equal to, this cancels out, 1 over 16 plus 16 over 16, which is just equal to 17 over 16. Now, finally, I can divide by 2 one more time. Remember, same thing as multiplying by 1 half. 2 over 2 cancels out, finally leaving me with x is equal to 17 times 1, which is 17 over 16 times 2, which is 32. And that right there is your final answer.